Let's see if we can kill at least three birds with one stone. The Steve Piasecki podcast starts tomorrow. Steve lives in Clifton Heights. He's an aspiring mystery writer, still trying to sell his first story. 34 years old, and let's call him reasonably handsome. He moonlights as an Uber driver to pay his bills. And he's also an amateur sleuth because his Uber riders keep thrusting him into the midst of crime situations. And then he solves the crimes faster than the cops. His first adventure comes from the night he picks up a stripper at Club Risque on Columbus Boulevard and transports her home all the way to media station apartments. And the germs of that story came straight from that stripper's mouth. And one more ride. And the story's called Dead Stripper. Well, actually it's a book. Dead Stripper. And it's available on Amazon. Kindle and paperback. The podcast will be available on most popular podcast networks. I'll be adding one chapter per day for the next 29 days. The first seven chapters play out like this. Chapter one begins with Steve picking up the stripper just after a bouncer twisted her wrist when she rejected his sexual advances. And Steve transports her home. You also meet Steve's sidekick, my friend. Chapter two introduces the two main female characters, Jess and Margot, best friends since kindergarten back in Phoenixville, and at least one of them will become Steve's love interest. Chapter three. We pick up with Steve pulling away from the stripper's apartment building and getting a request to pick up one of the girls we just met in Chapter 2. Chapter 4. We pick up Steve getting home at 4.30 in the morning with no idea that he's about to get a kick in the nuts from Ellery Queen Mystery Magazine. Chapter 5. We'll join Jess and Margot at the Grog Grill for drinks in Bryn Mawr and Jess will come up with a crazy idea. We'll drop into the Babes in Toyland Strip Club at happy hour and we'll venture out to media station apartments and find a dead body. Chapter 6. We'll pick it up at Steve's apartment the next morning, when my friend drops in, gets the lowdown on Steve's score with Jess, and Steve comes off like Sigmund Freud. In Chapter 7, we step inside a meeting at CID headquarters inside the courthouse and media. We find out the Sinaloa drug cartel is moving into Delco and using Uber drivers to distribute fentanyl. I gotta tell you, it was fun putting these podcasts together. Don't get me wrong, a lot of work, but fun. I imagine flashing back the old days of radio, before TV, and adding sound effects and stuff like that. Now here's bird number two. The Homicide Detective Podcast is also up and running. I do one podcast per week there, on Monday. So far, three. All three murder cases that I covered and wrote about way back when. Voodoo Slaughter. On the tropical island of St. Thomas, two beach strollers come face to face with a machete-wielding madman who thinks he's the reincarnation of Satan. Lusting Beast. A vacationing nurse and a contractor pack a lunch and spread out a blanket on the tropical sand. As they eat and chat, neither dreams that terror and death are stalking them inside a pair of old black combat boots. Kinky Clues. On the Caribbean island of St. Croix, missing panties are just one of many kinky clues beside the gang-raped girl. And next Monday, coke fiend killer is coming your way. In an idyllic setting like St. Thomas, Nancy never expected to be afraid of accepting a ride from a stranger. But she never counted on the driver being high on crap. And bird number three, you can find everything on my new website. Uh, but it's a little tricky to get there. My crime pays but I've got it hosted somewhere else right now. I'm still working on it, and we'll be getting my own domain name later this week. It's uh, mycrimepays.podcastpage.io. So that's it. That's a lot. Thanks for stopping in. Till next time. See you.